Whoops, there we go. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Monday Vox edit with me, Panda Pops. How are we all doing? I hope you had a good weekend and everything. So let me know how your weekend went. Also, I'm going to do something a little bit different because I have got it ready right now, which is I am going to be dropping the link for the giveaway for today um yeah that's being dropped right now only fill this for actually you should only be able to fill it out once so i'm pretty sure i did all the checks and everything so should only be able to fill it out once thank goodness for that but here is the form i will link it one more time during the stream before i close it um so yeah there we go if you're if you're in here right away you're most likely going to pick it up because the next time I link it, it's going to be linked for like two minutes. And after that, no go. Anyway, how am I? Um, I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. Uh, I've, I've had a fairly busy, productive-ish day. <laughs> um, so this is finished. I added a hamper. You guys asked for a hamper. I've added a hamper. I've put some clothes there and some shoes next to it i've not added any more i did contemplate doing two versions of this one where it's fully filled like there's loads and loads of stuff in it and then one where there's room for you guys to put your own things uh the best panda in the sun ah oh, i'm the best panda in the sandbox fam i feel like i might be the only one but <laughs> can you send the link again no you'll have you'll have to stay tuned for the next time i link it there's only going to be two times I'll link it. If I link it now, then I'm going to have to close it. Uh, but hey, Maxi, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to see you in the chat. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so this is complete. This is just a very simple room. If you guys want to know how you can build rooms to be enterable in the Game Maker, then definitely check out this whole past. I think it's been the past three streams where I talk you through everything. How do we publish an asset? Currently, that is not open for you guys. I will show you the process on how to export it to your inventory. But right now, only people within the Creator Fund are able to publish pre-approved assets so these are assets that have gone through an approval process to be uploaded and published and then only a very very small select few of those assets are able to go up for sale uh aka minted i also need to state as well for landowners um, there is a land migration where the land is going over to a new contract. So um, if you've received emails from official sandbox about that, then it is true. You will need to migrate. Uh, there is no cost for you guys to migrate your land. On the Discord, there is a land migration channel. Let me just see what that exact channel is with tons of support. So if you own land and you haven't uh, migrated it over, you need to personally choose to migrate that. Uh, is it your real hair or artificial? Is my hair really blue or have I dyed it? Or are you asking if I'm wearing a wig? This is like real life hair. Like this, it's it's like it's in my head. This hair is real, but the color is not a natural color. <laughs> my my hair is not naturally blue. Yeah, it's it's naturally blue. Like, uh, what are you on about? Is is no one else like got blue hair? Are you joking? Uh, I'm trying to find whether land migration. So the Discord there is a land migration channel um if you need help there there is help on telegram as well for land migration so there you go well it's not oh, i'm sorry no it is real life hair it's real it's real life hair <laughs> did you know all hair is dead the moment it comes out your scalp like this isn't alive like this is all like this is just dead hair like it, it comes out and it's dead 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you what this looks like in the game. I'm going to quickly break down exactly how we did make this and the important things to bear in mind when creating an asset like a room, something like that. Um, and yeah, I will show you how to put an asset in your inventory. <sighs> Zombie hair, I know, right? It so we can eat it wait what uh thanks uh that oh, on your head looks really cool oh thank you it does doesn't it oh it's amazing okay so in terms of what way am i going to show this okay i'm going to talk about how you make a room just a very quick breakdown if you do want a full breakdown on how it all works then definitely check out the last ones so what we needed to do, what I started with, every time you open up in the animator, always have a controlling node. This is one that everything will link off of. Don't do it off of the root. So you'll make a control node. Call it control node, main node, main, whatever, control, just a, or move node. And then everything comes off of that one. So I've done a control node, and then I have my wall node, where literally every single wall piece comes off of this so i've got the front wall the back and the two sides we made the front wall as a square first put the where the door was going to go and then we had to separate that so we've got just the one side and then we've got the top and the other side and this is so an avatar will be able to walk through it uh will you really do sand giveaways uh, I'm not doing a sand giveaway. I am doing an NFT giveaway. If I can get get the asset up for you guys to know what is the giveaway. So this is a weapon crate made by yours truly. It is a common weapon crate. Uh, it's official sandbox. Right, go away. Right up here, you can see verified collection is an official collection. Um, so yeah official anybody who wins it today will not get sent theirs until february january's batch has already gone out i mean it's february next month but a while uh baby node yeah and uh, you just name it whatever you want uh can i get out no 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 it's it's just that asset so there's no separate weapons there is a, a different animation where it moves but um yeah it's just just the crate with some weapons in it anyway so what we've done here separate walls and then we'll close that and then we've got the bed the bed there a headboard with some cushions and stuff painted on the window got all of these separate now and then we've got this here that we've got the coving at the top as well light switch and plug sockets so one thing you do need to bear in mind is that whenever you're making something that you want to be able to enter you should avoid doing animations on it now if it's something you're making for your own personal project then um you could put animations on it you would just then on the game maker side turn collision off and then you would have to place invisible barriers to stop your avatar just walking through areas i fully suggest if you want to make a room maybe to sell in the future when the market's open to everybody to not do that because then you're putting a lot of pressure on the buyer to be able to figure that out when a lot of buyers may not know that yet um so yeah it's best not to add that the moment you add any form of animation even just static animations uh it will put a collision box around the whole thing so the fact that we've made this enterable would just not work next time um so anyway i'm going to show you what this looks like and then i'm going to show you how you can export assets to your inventory so this is my tester world there we go let's just move over here and i think i named it like cute room where are you no nope, apparently not did i name it room where is it oh pastel room i renamed it and let's whoops there we go okay so we can just walk straight on in 
how that works and our cute little shoes next to our basket Our little case here with our duck, our robot, got a poster. Jump on the bed. Jump up on here. Uh, the dot vox file is uh, <laughs> which which one's the vox file? So your vo- oh, which one's the vox? That's when you can like import in a whole a whole thing. I think like the like an animation. I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. My mind's gone blank. Which one's the vox file? The v VXM is the model. VXA is is the is the animation. VXR is the animation. Yeah, the Vox is the set of assets. Oh, thank that. I thought I was going crazy. My mind just went blank. But yeah, so these are a few things created. But yeah, this is this is what the room looks like. So the reason I've left a lot of it bare is so if somebody purchases it, uh, I don't think I've got, is there a desk I can put in here? Oh, okay. I've got my tester desk. I've got my tester desk. This was probably testing for height and things like that. So this is why I've left room. So then if somebody purchases it, they can place their own asset. That's through the wall, but you get the idea. They can place their own assets within the room and make it their own. For, uh, <laughs> I got confused. Uh, I want to start from uh, scratch. Can I assist? Can I assist with what? what what do you want to start from scratch? Like start from scratch creating. I mean, I'm here to teach everybody how to use Vox Edit. So yeah, definitely I can assist. Hype train everyone. Hey everyone. Uh, but yeah, so that's why there's I've left room in there. Uh, maybe a chair. I don't think there's any bean bags. Any basic videos? Okay, this is the shilling portion of the official sandbox stream of myself. So anybody who doesn't know who I am, yes, I am a official artist within the creator fund for the sandbox almost two years now, as well as doing my own personal streams and YouTube. I have a bunch of tutorials on my YouTube and definitely beginner's guides, more intermediate and higher ranked stuff will be coming out. They are in the current works. So do check those out. If you go onto YouTube and look up literally Panda Pops or Panda Pop Sandbox, I should come up. If you are over in the Sandbox Discord, just go to Vox Edit, uh, uh, Hints and Tips, scroll up a little bit, you'll be able to find one of my videos. And I do live streams as well on Vox Edit on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, two on Thursdays, one uh, UTC uh, morning time, so around 10 a.m. UTC is when I do a beginner tutorial guides on the basics of everything. There you go, Panda Pops. Thank you for uh, for Nom. Like kids' rooms after you take away their phone and tablet until they clean their room. It's meant to. So a lot of things that I've created. I'll show you some of my more recent ones. Uh, I just do room. That one there. Uh, Do. 
Okay, so just to give you an idea, a lot of my more recent stuff has been very, very dark. A lot, a lot of my more recent stuff has been very, very dark. So I wanted to make something cute for you guys to follow along. So that is why this is super bright and colorful. I needed to do something bright and colorful. Anyway, I hope that's helped you guys see what it looks like. The reasons why I left it more bare. Obviously, it would be up to you uh, whether you would want to leave it bare or not. I decided to leave the outside walls blank because then it gives the option for the for you to do things like... Did I? Oh, I placed it in an angle. Of course I did. Okay. There we go. We can place the blocks, and that's not perfectly centered either. Right, cool. Move. So you could place blocks along it. I've also built it so it can be the perfect height as well for blocks along the edges. So you could place your own ceiling on top. And it should should if i did the sizes right and if you would like to know the sizes i will go over that real quick well yeah that looks that looks correct just got a little space either side which is a bit annoying it from that side yep yeah, pretty much perfect and it's the correct size for a door to fit in as well if i just grab myself a door old wooden door because nothing says a cute room like putting an old wooden door right there close anyway so perfect fit for the door to fit in there's a little bit of a gap i don't think i placed that perfectly but the exact right size did you design the block no i didn't design that block i have designed blocks uh where's my block this one yeah that one mine No, cobblestone's mine. This one's mine, the cobblestones. I do feel like the dark bricks might be mine as well, but I keep forgetting. If you guys all have dark bricks, then it's not mine. If you don't have dark bricks, then it is. Um, great stream question. When Artist Firm will be available so you'll be able to apply for becoming creator in Sandbox and sell your models? So there is an announcement due to come out. I know no more information other than that. So you need to wait for the announcement. Obviously, there are a lot of people that do apply for the Creator Fund and you do need to remember, uh, once again, I'll go through what the Creator Fund is all about, just so you can be aware. Within the Creator Fund, you cannot just create and upload whatever you want or sell whatever you want. There is an approval process. There's a theme, there's criteria that you have to build to, um, and all of those assets have to be approved. Once they are approved, you are able to upload and have those published. Then after that, you cannot choose to sell currently. Only a very, very small select amount of assets get chosen to be uh to be minted and sold right in terms of how to get your assets into your happy lunar new year happy lunar new year everyone um the gems give power speed look uh properties to your assets they are not mandatory to mint though yes i mean you can choose to not have gems on your on your assets um but if you do have gems on your assets you will need those gems to mint uh but yes the gems give them special properties and the catalysts as well if you have like a rare catalyst uh, epic catalyst you would need to pay for those too um they are not up for sale currently they're not available right now the only way to have them on assets is through a manual process but anyway 
everybody, absolutely everybody can put assets in their inventory and they can use these assets to make their own games within Game Maker. Like you saw me place this in Game Maker. This is not a published asset. I cannot publish this. I would have to, you know, have this pre-approved to go for. Uh, right now, is there any way to earn if I, I'm a creator of assets? Uh, when you say a creator of assets, do you mean if you're on the creator fund or do you just mean if you create assets? Um, when staking online, do you get to choose what gems catalyst to create? I have absolutely no idea. That is not something I know. Uh, when I want to edit games on Windows 7, it crashes your whole computer. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And I'm guessing it might have something to do with your computer um like space specs and stuff like that but if you mean um if how to earn if you are in the creative and you get paid uh, just create your own assets so the one way you could get paid is if uh somebody pays you freelance to create an asset and then once you've got that created and they've paid you, you would then send them the files. So then they would become the owner. It is highly suggested not to mint them outside of the sandbox marketplace because they will not work directly with the sandbox and in the sandbox game maker. So it is not suggested to do that at all um only purchase uh assets that have the verified tick on them is what is suggested so to get this into your inventory or whatever you've created to your inventory you can click file export export to marketplace choose what default thumbnail you would like uh click export then it will hopefully there we go i've got it now it will then do a pop-up browser uh if you've maybe already exported it but you've done some updates to it done some changes you'll want to click replace if this is your new one you will click new asset i'm just going to click replace and then you would find which one it is that you want to replace you would then select that one or uh, if you're uploading you'll give it a name and give it a description if you want you would then click on your little icon go to inventory Go to pastel room or the one which is my pastel room. And this has already got a tick, but usually there'll just be a plus button right here. So you would click the plus button and that would then put it into your inventory to see on the marketplace. Um, not on the marketplace, sorry. That will, <laughs> that will put it in your inventory to see on the game maker, not marketplace, game maker, <laughs> game maker people. Okay, right, there is going to be one more time I'm going to send this and the form is going to close in two minutes. It's the exact same form. If you've already filled it out, you shouldn't be able to fill it out again. Um, so if you've already filled one out, don't, don't do it again. And it's going to close in two minutes. And then the winner will be revealed later. Anyway, so we've done this. I did not prepare for what else I was going to be talking about. I've told you how we go about making a room like this and shown you how to export that to your inventory. Is there anything like on a more basic level, because we've only got about half an hour left, is there anything that you guys personally would like to see me do? Um, and then we can discuss a bigger project that I could talk you through over the next couple of weeks. So if we find something that I could probably show you over the next half hour, that would be great. And I would really like to know what it is that you guys want to see. Shoes? You want to know how to just make shoes? Okay. Oh, we could, we could talk about the templates. That is a really good dancing sweater. I love that. Set up a custom character. Um, by custom character, I'm assuming you mean avatar. Uh, that you could play within the game. Currently, that's not available. As you can see right here, there is no avatar in the templates. The avatars are temporarily disabled for updates. 
Yes, please, templates. Uh, how can you cut a model up into smaller sections easier? Yet, yeah, um, I can definitely show you that. That's I've done that a few times. So yeah, what is the maximum voxel size I can send? Um, it's more to do with faces. You don't want um, to have anything above 5,000 faces for optimization. Uh, Non-animated combinations of assets are still made in the animator, so do they need to be saved as something special to make sure they don't have... Like, non-animated component. What do you mean non-animated com... Uh, oh, do you mean like... Like just the stills? You mean just the stills? Can we make a small or giant characters in relation to the default? I mean, they're here. Like, there's a giant human right here that is the scale to giant, giant human. You can use these templates and edit them as much as you like. Uh, from a, I created a weapon from a template, added animation to it, but now the thumbnail includes the whole skeleton. Yeah, so I'm guessing what you've done is, did you unlock that? Like, did you take this and then go over to the animator and put it in the animator? Kids are, I'm on T- <gasps> I've made it. I'm on someone's TV. That, that's, that's goals right there. To actually be on someone's TV as if you're watching, like, my own show, like a full show. That's amazing. Um, hi to your kids. You said they oh okay so yeah so for a big room like this uh yeah you can't you can't have animations on this because it'll put a collision box even static still so even if I uh did like idolo one idolo two idolo three uh they that would still put a collision box over the whole thing if that's what you mean. Oh, yeah, they don't need to be saved of anything special. You just don't do animations on them. So you would just have it have it like this. You won't touch the keyframes down here. You would leave these all on one. So, yeah, then it doesn't need to be saved of anything special. It will just pick up that there's only idle O1, that none of these, are, all, the, um, all the keyframes are all on zero. So it will know that there's no collision there like that it won't put a collision box so the moment you start actually doing animation so um if i got this doll and moved it up now now there would be a collision let's just make that not look as creepy uh zoom out there we go let's make it go up so now that that just does that that looks actually kind of creepier now that it's slowly rising now, just because that has an animation up to that point, then there's a collision box around the entire thing. So it's just about not having that. Um, yeah, so created, uh, added animation. Did, uh, where's, where's the, no, I animated it straight from the template once I opened it. So you went, you went to the template, went to blades, Went to Blades, yes. I'm going to put it in. I'll put it on Monday and we'll put uh, Sword. Somebody wanted shoes. Why is my caps like that? So, does yours look different to this? When you opened it, did it look different? Because you shouldn't see this guy. You shouldn't have any, anything else other than these and the ones you add. Uh, yes, we could do custom avatars in the future. No worries. Because I was getting into the habit of making second keyframe no matter what. No, no, no. No. So don't don't put it... If, if you've made variations, even if they're static, you will need that second keyframe. Static ones will need it. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. No, it looks like this and imported a part. Oh, wait. Did you... You imported... Don't know what happens if you import what part. So did you? What did you import over? Did you not just import a model like a v, VXM over? Did you did you not do that? 
So if you're still discovering how to work with the Vox Edit and notice some people are able to attach pre-made assets. Um, yeah, so pre-made, what do you mean attach to, are able, oh, you mean like add. Yeah, so what they've done is they've unlocked the templates and then they've just added onto that, which I can go over. That's more of a more of a longer stream to talk about unlocking and showing you how we can add to those. I'm trying to figure out what Phenom has done to the sword. But uh, in terms of if you wanted to add animation to this, so let me just the right blades. Uh, let's trim that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, four. Doesn't really matter because that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, light. Add that. Go green. One, two. Going to make like that. Trim the volumes Get to floor. And then go back. Create child node. Light one. And I'm gonna hide it inside. Oh, hello, come back. I'm gonna go back to the sword. That can be hidden properly. Right, so we'll hide that. I'm going to duplicate it. Duplicate light two. Duplicate light three. Um, probably best to create a new VXM and then add it to the sword. I would suggest doing that as well. Do you have to buy those templates? No, the templates are free for anybody. Uh, so the sword has different parts. Uh, I imported a new model, just a particle, and added it. Um, so I don't see why that should have been a problem, but I would suggest just doing it again to see if you have, like, when you open up the blade, the way you should, like, go to the template, open up the blade, and then, and then import over whatever it is that you're trying to do. Try and do that again. Um, try to see if you said anything. Can you create a light bulb that can be bound to code, which turns it on and off, uh, it off and on, or are all animations automatic at runtime? So... The animations you create are just how the animations would be. If you could have an animation that is the light is off, you can do a separate animation where the light is on. And then in the game maker, you can then work it. So uh, maybe you need to interact with it to turn it on. And instead of having it like looping or something, you would then need to interact again to turn it off. So there are ways to do that, but there's no code you can do in Vox Edit. Just however you animate it is how you animate it. Let me see here after animation, what kind of thumbnail we get for exporting to the marketplace. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm going to have to edit this sword a little bit for that. But now that we've got this, I'm going to go right here. Going to go to light one, move it up. Oh, wait, single keyframe. So if you want something to just suddenly appear, there needs to be one keyframe. One keyframe is like this single little line. See how there's one line? That's a single keyframe. And then what we're going to do is just have this slide all the way down to the tip. Right there. And then I'm going to have it just disappear back in. And then I'm going to grab this one, copy, paste. Oh, whoops, grab the wrong one. Here, thank you. Is that one going? Copy back in. We're going to go here, be based.
Uh, when I saw like the edit or the same screen, I was like, this is too much. <laughs> Oh. Um, I'm new to sandbox. Trying to have uh, you having problems with this with with this bit or just generally sandbox in general. Uh, I think that needs to go. Yeah, so it's about there in distance. And then this one's going to go. Oh, wrong one again. This one's gonna go here. And then disappear. Oh, that's two, three. Oh, okay. One, two, three, then it appears. One, two, three. should be yeah you can make something like that and this should be fine now what you do need to remember with any animation that you make um any animation that you make you need it all to end on the last keyframe so this ends right there so I'm going to click this little uh, diamond shape right here. So everything ends on that exact one. No issue. I'm just going to color this in bright blue. Yep, that looks great. Just that bit. I just want it to be so we can actually see, see what it is. This can be brown. Why not? There we go. Oh, and trim. And the handle trim, lovely. Okay. Uh, uh, right, what have we got? It gave me trouble yesterday too until I realized my mistake. So yeah, uh, wait, wait, what's... What's here? So, uh, click on it and view the 3D model, not just the JPEG. It, Oh, is somebody having issues with their thing looking wrong? I used the weapon template with the skeleton. How did... I'm trying to catch up on what I've missed. You haven't started with an avatar that has the blade and then edit that blade. I did... Yeah. Yeah, you need it just with... Can you uh, um, add gem slots? So... The way gems and catalysts are going to work, I don't believe has been made public exactly. We know that they're going to give attributes to weapons and other assets, um, but I'm, I'm waiting on clarification on that. But if I wanted to, yes, I could add gems to this. I would not actually have the gems to mint it. You would need to own those gems that you put on your weapons. With the whole thing, like it's not working or even responding, tried to search on YouTube, had to fix, but I saw you live. Okay, so wait, so is is Vox Edit not generally working for you? So far, I did. So you've done everything like me. Okay, so you've done you've done all of that. You've recolored your weapon. You've done you've done your animation all like this. It still looks like this. This guy still looks like that. All right, file export. It's been a while since I actually. So when you do that, does the does it come up like this? Export and then new asset tester stream sword. There's the three D view preview. An idol. So does yours not not look like this? Oh, there's an issue with that showing up right there. That's a bit of an issue. Good job. The um, no here. So here you see the skeleton. Okay, you've done something wrong. <laughs> Something's gone wrong somewhere. Um. So I would suggest just start again. 
if it seems to be an issue, um, then maybe just uninstall Vox Edit and reinstall, see if that helps. Uh, fancy and none, that should be fine. And then to know that it's, does yours even come up? Like this means it's equipment. This will mean it's equipment. If you've got like a little weapon thing right there, if it's like a box like that, that's saying that it's an entity. The sword uh, means it's equipment. Uh, do hey, my question, if I want to create a building, how can I get the uh, proportions right? Okay, so uh, minimum for, do for door height, you're going to, um, wait. So for a first floor, you want it at least four meters high. One meter in Vox Edit is 32 voxels. So a 32 voxel block is one meter. It's best to work in uh, sections of 32 voxels to get a general idea of, um, so people could place like blocks around buildings. Um, that's usually the best case. So one floor would be that. The doorways, so people at the doors for a single door is uh, two meters wide by three meters high. So you'll want to make that hole if you want to put a door there. Obviously, if, um, if you just want to create a general building like I've done like this tower, then you don't need to put a real door there. So you could be a little bit different, but you definitely want the doorway to be taller than a person. The people are roughly two meters high. So as long as it's above two meters, and around three meters if you want to make a building to enter into uh one no animations and two yes you would want that doorway if you wanted to place the door there you would want it to be the dimensions of a door uh otherwise generally you could just sort of play about just work in um in sections of 32 so that will help with blocks How to create a perfect circle you can't you would not be like don't think that would be possible to make a perfect circle because you're working in squares you could make something close to a circle i've got a few circle light assets um such as don't even know where I've saved it. It's definitely not there. Do plant suit of armor. Where's my well? I had a well somewhere. Wooden, wooden. No. Weapons, not in the weapons. In the tavern, table, sort of arm, random bits. Well, this is obviously more like an octagon, but yeah. Uh, did I make, yeah, that tower I did make in Vox Edit. I can't show you on here because it's on my old computer save. But, um, how many pixels do you make voxels? I don't know how many voxels is exactly, but uh, you don't really need to worry too much about the amount of voxels. It's the amount of faces. The faces you see on the animator. Um, so this room is 656 faces, so not many at all compared to this, which is not that I've got. I'm not showing you high face ones. This one. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I can't even find it now. But yeah, this one's over a thousand. 
There it is. Uh, so I've answered already. Can you sell assets on OpenSea? Because when I tried it, it was confusing. Uh, okay, so they won't work in Sandbox. Technically, yes, you can. However, I and I spoke about this last time at the very first few minutes, and I do think it's important to go go over it again. So I will go over it again. So yes, you can, but we highly suggest you don't because it will not work directly with the sandbox. Um, let me just find it so I can actually say this properly. So generally speaking, they won't directly work. There is metadata that is missing when you mint on OpenSea to when it is approved and put up into the marketplace on Sandbox. So yes, somebody could purchase it. Yes, they could place that asset in their game, in the game maker. However, they would not be able to upload that game into the metaverse when the metaverse is live. And they also would not be able to upload that game with those assets to generally the gallery as some of you who may have used the game maker and anybody taking part in game jams know if you make your own assets they need to be approved to go up on the gallery um oh thank you appreciate that uh uh, besides looking glitchy does overlapping differently colored faces cause any issues uh, it looks glitchy and it looks just generally bad. Like it doesn't, it's not like it's going to it just, you know, break something, but it's, it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, recently that's supposed to be sandbox compatible. I hope it will be. Um, so if it's to do with, if they are partners, of the sandbox, if it's like a partnership like the Cybercons and things like that, then yes. So what needs to happen, and this is on an individual basis, so things like the Cybercon VXs don't fully, they're not, um, they don't instantly work with the sandbox. They need to create an NFT bridge um, to, spe uh, to specifically put them over there now currently right now there is nothing to do that generally with everybody's assets it's got to be on a uh you know a case by case so if let's say i make a bunch of stuff and i take it over to OpenSea, it would be then up to me to create that bridge and bridge it over whether i want to do like uh burn all the old ones and do an airdrop to the original holders to give them a new one that is on the sandbox. It's not a whizzy hat. The giveaway isn't for a whizzy hat. Can we make 10k avatar project? <laughs> Will you make one? Um, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so generally, I don't know about that, that project. Personally, I don't know about that project. But it's usually suggested... I don't know. Right. Usually it is suggested for for people, general people, like your everyday person who's selling, trying to sell on OpenSea. It's generally suggested not to uh, and to wait for the marketplace to be open because it will open to everybody. You will all be able to have things approved and you will all be able to sell on the sandbox marketplace. Um, so that is what is suggested. Change the lightning, weather, haze. Uh, the, uh, in the game maker, yes, you can change the lighting. I don't know about weather or anything like that. Um, it's still um, fairly early. Like the game game maker and even Vox Edit are still being updated. Um, new things are being implemented. So whether they add think like weather and stuff like that. I'm not too sure. I could pull it up as a suggestion. Definitely put it in the feedback. If you go over to the Discord, there's feedback sections. That would be more of a game maker suggestion than a Vox edit. How to list the stuff I create on the sandbox. You cannot, you cannot sell assets. Even on the creator fund, we cannot sell our assets. 
uh, without them being selected. Um, anyway, let's see the winner to this. Let's do the spreadsheet. This should be easier for me to go through as well. Um, Yeah, putting putting your thing in there definitely gets you to be a winner. No. Uh so this should be fine. I'm still gonna go. How? Oh yeah, I should have stated as well. If you put an entry more than once, like you you get deleted. I I was doing it like more than three times, but no, I have I have no patience now. I don't know how how some of you managed to fill it out more than once i put only once unless you opened up multiple googles just to fill it out more than once it's an nft guys like you really really want an nft that bad i mean maybe okay only in all fairness only one person managed to be cheeky so well done everybody else this is much better too late to enter yeah i've already drawn it uh don't feel bad miss this one <laughs> there'll be more there will be more right let's do rng from number two to number that's not that's not that's not a really ah oh, how did that get in there uh, to 109, so, and, um, that's, random number generator, right, number two, because it starts on two to 109, it's not for a whizzy hat, it's for, it's, uh, I'll get, the, I'll get it up, I'll get what it is up, you know who you are, <laughs> what, the person being cheeky, you know who you are being cheeky, so this is the NFT you're winning. It is a weapons crate. Official sandbox. See this? This is what you need to look for for verified assets within the sandbox. The amazing weapon crate. I know, right? It's like having Panda's autograph. It is. This is, you get it. Yes, you're getting my autograph, guys. This is, this is my autograph. That's what you're having. Anyway, uh, three, two, one, boom. 83 nice high one where are you have i just all of a sudden forgotten how to read okay we got a twitch winner oh wait no we haven't sorry that's 73 oh my gosh oh wow we have a facebook winner that's surprising Right, just so you know, wait, I need to see whether you've won before. You have not. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's get your name down. Just so you know, the winner of this, it will not be sent out until February. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, you're number seven. So, yeah, it won't be sent out until February. Late February, not right now. Um, near the end of February when gas is hopefully fairly decent. But that's when it will get sent out. They get sent out in batches. I have everything that I need. I have your ETH address and stuff. So if you are still waiting, uh, you will receive those. Don't worry. And I need to announce who the winner is. So no winners on Facebook. No, one person did. No, don't, don't be mean to the Facebook people there's been some people like from facebook actually asking questions and stuff but it's for uh syrup oh, i can't say your name it's for wanja there you go you won gg and we still got a few more minutes can't believe pe people still use facebook usually it's all scam type things uh right so we've got just two minutes before we end i will do let wait what's the bigger project that you go uh 
uh, just made a new video how to play a sandbox on Mac. Awesome. Winner name. The winner was uh, Surapong Wanja. I can't, I've butchered that name, I know, but yep, that's the person's name. Well done to that person. Um, but anyway, sorry, I'm sure there's been people from Facebook actually asking legit questions. I haven't had to say ignore the Facebook spam. We've had we've had good Facebook conversations today. It's it's been all right. <laughs> so mean. Anyway, we need to pick a theme. Um, we need to pick a theme for what you guys want to learn about next week. How to select winner? Any task? What do you mean? How to select winner? I've I've selected the winner. I did random num number generator for the people who entered the form. Um. So anyway, what what we're animating? You want to know more on animating? Yeah, but we need a okay. So we can do oh no no no. Somebody said I'm gonna put this up in a note. Uh, so someone wanted how to break down an asset for collision, which will be easy. Uh, we'll also do uh unlock template. Where's the form? The form's been filled out. It, it, I I put it in the chat right at the beginning. You should have been here at the beginning. You know the start time, people. It's start time every single week. Uh, make an expanding box. Oh. That's going to be a pain. It really? That's going to... Uh, expanding box... That's going to have to be broken in so many pieces. So many pieces. I did it. It was a pain. Why do you want me? You want, you want to see me suffer. That's why. I was gonna, yeah, that's going to have to be so... Because you're going to have to have all those... The ones that are going to make the bigger piece hidden inside the small one. Why? I'll put that as a question mark. We'll see. We'll see how how... How much, how much of a good mood I'm in. That's why I asked if that was an easy way to break a model into bits. Um, well, I know how to break down an asset for collision, but to break down like a really large thing like that, it's just, they're obviously certain things. Do you play around energy and oil? I'm not making games. Making assets. Misery loves company. You're funny. Um, then increase the... And do a poll um, on what you're going to show in the next stream. Oh, yeah, guys, if you don't already, make sure you follow the official Vox Edit Twitter because I think that's where most of these polls will end up on the Vox Edit side of Twitter. So definitely make sure you check in Vox Edit Twitter out and obviously follow the sandbox. Follow me. Just don't follow me in real life. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, DLive, Twitch. So follow me in real life. That is indistinguishable from reality. Then ask people, are they playing a game or really? Oh gosh, that's that's dark. Called Matrix 4.0. I like that. So dark. Okay, so we got a few ideas. Um, so basically, just today's just been telling you how to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, pretty much. All right, people, off for the day. Have a great one, Phenom. And yeah, so uh, definitely try, just try and redo the blade again. Um, try and redo that. Uh, can you tell us about using asset scaling as well as doing small and big things on Vox Edit? Okay, so by scaling do you mean like how to get the correct size we're finishing by the way this is the end of the stream we're only here for one hour and that's 7 p.m utc until 8 p.m so i've overrun a little bit but generally in terms of scaling there's no actual scalability like you can't make something and then scale it bigger over on the game maker the size is what you make it obviously you can scale within vox edit but it will stay at that size um it is known when the next call for sandbox creators will be basically a magical 
Okay, so uh, currently it is closed. There will be an announcement regarding Vox Edit coming soon. Every Monday, every Monday, I'm here at uh, 7 p.m. UTC until 8 p.m. UTC. And then on Wednesdays, you have Alex and Joe, I think, or just Alex doing game makery stuff. And then Saturdays is game makery stuff as well. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I do have to finish it up. And we will talk about the other stuff. I've got a few notes down of what you guys do want me to go over. Um, go find somebody to go watch on Twitch if you want to watch more stuff. I think uh, this is out. I also think maybe Andy Ritchie is live as well. No. Is Andy Ritchie not live? He's usually live right now. He usually goes up straight when this finishes. Okay. Um, or you can go to a rock, um, rock 808. I think he's there. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse, but, but wait, what? Right. Anyway, <laughs> I've got to finish. You guys are awful for making me get distracted. I'm like... And it's been MIA. I think he's, to be honest, I think he's been really, really busy with the game jam. He's been sorting all the game jam stuff out. So once uh, once those results are in, he'll probably be back to stream a little bit more, hopefully. Anyway, as always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. Don't for come and forget to come and watch me shilling myself again on my live stream tomorrow 6 p.m utc go find me panda pops youtube panda pops 90 on twitch and panda pops on d live so goodbye